But let's get into the news here today. Obviously, whenever the Observer comes out, there's a lot of news. And as a result of yesterday's Observer, now we've got controversy. You ready for oh, yeah. this? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so, as everybody is well aware by now, they did an angle on Dynamite where Sammy Guevara and MJF had a spat. And Sammy thought that MJF was filming him and trying to get him to say something that he didn't mean. And he flipped out. He destroyed MJF's phone. And ultimately, he quit the inner circle. And the last we saw of Sammy, he was leaving and he said, I've got to go somewhere else for a while. Clearly, it seems like he was talking about impact. So then the story we hear is that Sammy was going to go to impact and they wanted him to do some stuff. And he didn't want to do it. And so he was pulled from the show and he was he was sent home. OK, now, obviously, there's there's going to be multiple sides to this story. There just is. So the first thing, the initial thing that we heard was that people close to Sammy had heard these ideas and they sympathized with Sammy because they were like, that's that was the plan. Like, I feel bad for the guy. This was not a great plan. But we didn't know what the plan was. Nobody knew what the plan was. So this is what was this is on the front page of WrestlingObserver.com. Sammy Guevara is not expected to return to the company, according to Dave Meltzer in the New Observer Newsletter. Following his on-screen departure from the Inner Circle on Dynamite, he arrived in Nashville to work the February 9th through 11 impact tapings as part of an angle. However, he didn't like the creative plan, and after making some suggestions that were turned down, he was told he was not needed. One story Meltzer could not confirm was that Guevara was set to be part of a six-man tag on next week's show where the winning team would move on to a three-way match for an X-Division title shot. He was set to team with Ace Austin and Chris Bay against Willie Mack, Josh Alexander, and Trey Miguel. Austin and Bay will team with Black Taurus instead. Guevara reportedly suggested winning the X-Division title before returning to AEW with it. He would never lose the title, and it would then be stripped at some point and put up for grabs in a tournament. Meltzer did confirm Guevara was going to win three matches at the tapings, adding that Jericho and Don Callis came up with the initial angle, and whatever happened made them look bad. Guevara was only scheduled for that set of tapings. Meltzer said Impact was really mad about AEW sending talent over, putting plans in place, and then the talent wouldn't do what was planned. Everything appears to be smoothed over now, but there are those in Impact who said that the company was not happy at first without went down, and it could have impacted relationships. Guevara has not spoken about whatever happened other than a tweet with a quick clip from a recent vlog. And then they go on from there. So this is what I was told. And I was told this today. So it was probably a reaction to what was written in The Observer. And this these are from this is from people close to Sammy Guevara. So this would be his side of the story. OK. Sammy side of the story is that he was never going to win three matches on impact. The idea was that he would lose some matches. He would be beaten down. He would ultimately win a match and then he would be beaten down afterwards. And apparently he also told people that he was supposed to be, they wanted him to be in tag matches, but he didn't think that he should be in tag matches because the whole storyline on dynamite is that he's splitting from the inner circle and he's going it alone so i guess apparently in his mind it was like well if the storyline is me going alone why would i go to impact and then do tag matches and apparently he told people he was upset with this idea that he wanted to win the x division title and then never lose it apparently he had an idea that involved him winning the x division title But not that he would never lose it, not that he would go back to Impact, not that it would be stripped or anything like that. But the point is, they weren't going for any of these ideas. So his side of the story was that I had ideas and they were like, they were not listening to any ideas and it was their way or the highway. And he wasn't feeling comfortable. And so he called whoever it would be, Tony Khan, Jericho, I presume Tony Khan, because Tony Khan is in charge of AEW, obviously. And when he expressed that he wasn't interested, like, the whole thing all fell apart. So from there, 
stories have been coming out. Maybe someday Sammy will actually say what happened, but I'm not sure Sammy wants to say what happened because I think that he doesn't want this to be blown out of proportion. He doesn't want to complain. I don't know what the story is, but he hasn't said anything yet. And if I were in his shoes, I probably wouldn't want to say anything either because if I was upset with Impact, like, I wouldn't want it known that I was upset with him, especially if the story that's coming out now is that Everything is fine on both sides. So all I know is that's the story I heard. The story that Dave heard is in The Observer. That's both sides of the story. Perhaps the truth is somewhere in the middle, but that's all I can tell you about Sammy Guevara and Impact. Well, let me take the least important thing first as far as you know, what could impact relationships. No offense to Impact, but they can get as upset as they want. They still need AEW no matter what. So, period. And with the way that Don Callis and Chris Jericho work together, I don't think there's going to be any issues. You know, even if people are upset, it's going to be a... I don't think things like this are going to affect the relationship. It can be annoying in the moment, but I don't think anything really affects the relationship. And Impact really has no leverage anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Those are two diverse stories as far as what the creative was going to be. And there is, you know, from these guys are independent contractors. They, they, we always talk about they should have some say. And we hear stories of the past about guys who were unhappy about things and they put their foot down. And sometimes it works out to their advantage. Sometimes it doesn't. Those are two very diverse things that were set to happen, depending on what side you're looking at it. And if I'm Sammy Guevara looking at it, I agree with everything he said or whatever this person is saying that he feels. Then again, from Impact's side, you know, if he was going to win three matches and all that sort of stuff and it came down to where he wanted to win the belt and didn't want to give it up, mm, you know, Black Taurus was in that position Seemingly, you know, so we know it was about the X Division title. Something was going to have to do with that. So I don't know if it's going to come out or not anytime soon. If I'm Sammy, I don't say anything. It's better to be a professional in this case. You know, keep your whatever happened close to you. Everything seems to be fine. And he has got far bigger fish to fry. And if he is concerned about what would have taken place damaging him, Forget about all that. That means he's really serious about what's taking place with AEW and this split away from the inner circle. And at the, the end of the day, for AEW, their future, and for Sammy and his future, that's really all that, that's important, and, and that's what matters here. The thing that's so interesting about it is when I, when I go back to this report on our front page here, it says that Jericho and Don Callis came up with the initial angle— and whatever happened and made them look bad. Isn't Don Callis an executive in Impact Wrestling? Bingo. I'm just, I'm, I, I, the whole thing to me, listen. You know what that is, Brian? Let hold me, on. Let wait, me, wait, wait, wait. Hold on a second. Go ahead. I'm going, I'm, I'm going back to what I said the other day. Like, this can benefit both sides, okay? Sure. But I, I just am confused as to how Sammy can be sent... And it's like everyone's trying to figure out what is going to happen as he's like on his way there. And this should uh, listen, this shouldn't be between Sammy and whoever's booking impact. Like to me, this should be between Tony and like Don Callis is an executive in impact. Or maybe whoever the head of creative is in Impact. It should be like Demar the head of creative in A of W, the head of creative in Impact. Like all of this should be ironed out and everyone on the same page. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full length shows. Down there on the bottom right hand side of the screen, click that join button. And when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube. Over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.